Namaste students. Today we will discuss applications of expansion of solids. Uh, in the previous lecture we have discussed expansion of solids. Now we will discuss applications of expansion of solids. So generally if we observe when metal cap of glass bottle is tightly fixed in winter but to open that metal cap we used to keep it in a hot water for some time after that what happened the cap will be loosened so that we can easily open the cap why it will happen because whenever the metal cap a bottle is kept in a hot water the metal cap will expand such that it will become free to rotate. So here, to open a metal cap in winter, the expansion of solid is used because that metal cap is kept in hot water so that it will expand. So that we can easily open metal cap of glass bottle by keeping it in hot water for some time hot water for some time so this is the example of expansion of solid or we can say applications of expansion of solid similarly the second example is fitting of iron tire on the cart wheel. So generally the cart wheel is made up of the rim of the cart wheel is made up of wooden and the iron tire is fixed on it. So it is fixed by heating the iron tire such that its diameter increases. When its diameter increases, it is kept on the wooden wheel and after that it is cooling such that it will contract and it is tightly fixed on the cart wheel. So this is the fitting of iron tire on the cart wheel. And third one is some gap is left between two uh, rails of uh, railway track two uh, rails of railway track so if we observe when two rails of railway track are fixed so there is a some gap is left between the two rails we can say between the two rods there is some gap so this gap is left to allow the linear expansion of solid in summer and winter. So if this gap is not there, if they are fixed recently, so then what happens? See, when the two rods are fixed end to end, when they are fixed end to end, when uh, the average temperature is increased some temperature is increased so what will happen the rods will expand when both the rods will expand so there is no choice of expansion so that this rod will bend so to avoid this bending of rods some gap is left so now we'll see when the gap is left when the gap is left if these two rods are expanded slightly so there is no force is applied on either rods means this rod does not apply force on this rod this rod does not apply force on this rod so that they can freely expand so to avoid the bending of rods in summer some gap is left between the two rails of railway track and so 
here some gap is left between the two rails of railway track to allow the linear expansion in summer and winter the next application is when when small water drop is felt on the hot glass bulb it will break what happens when a hot thin glass bulb is there if a small rain drop or water drop is fall on that glass bulb it will break because here the total surface of the glass bulb is hot but when a small drop is incident on it or felt on it so what will happen some region some space some area okay what will happen it will cool down so when it is cool down it will try to contact so due to the uneven expansion of glass so it will break similarly we can say when a hot water is taken or poured into glass tumbler or glass container when when hot water taken in a glass container container it will get cracks so generally the glass container is some thick glass made up of thick glass so that when hot water is poured into that what happen the inner surface of the glass will try to expand but outer surface remains the same so when the inner surface is trying to expand the outer surface does not allow it so that again there is a uneven expansion of glass so due to this uneven expansion it will get some cracks on it so here the next one is when we fix the cable wire or electrical wire between the poles between the poles cable or electric wires are fixed tightly tightly between two poles so here so this is to avoid the contraction in a winter so so generally these two are fixed not uh, tightly they are fixed some a uh, slag is there they are fixed loosely between the two poles two poles to allow the linear expansion in winter so generally what happen in winter generally this electric wires or cable wires will contract to avoid the breaking of the wires so they are loosely fixed or we can say some sag is left some sag is left between the two poles so next application it will take so here to fix the wooden cap into the glass bottle ya yeah, metal cap to the glass bottle so this linear expansion is used now we'll see the time period of time period of oscillations of oscillations of pendulum clock time period of oscillation of pendulum here we see whenever the pendulum is made up of metal so metal is a good conductor of heat so it will allow expansion a linear expansion we can say so whenever the temperature changes especially we say in winter and summer so there is a change in temperature 
so due to that change in temperature the pendulum will expand so it may be decrease in length or increase in length so due to this expansion the time period of oscillation will changes which gives the incorrect time which gives the incorrect time so how this time period is depends on the temperature we will see so here generally time period of pendulum clock is p is equal to 2 pi under root l by g this t is the time period l is the length of the pendulum and g is the acceleration due to gravity so from this formula it is clear that the time period of pendulum is directly proportional to square root of length at a given place why i mentioned at a given place because at a given place this g is constant when so from this equation we can say that t is directly proportional to root l at a given place so from this when length changes we can say time period changes and the fractional change in time period change in time period by the time period is given by 1 by 2 delta l upon l so from the approximation method we'll write this one now when temperature changes suppose when temperature changes by delta theta when temperature is changed by delta theta what happen length of the pendulum changes and here we can write a change in length by original length is equal to alpha delta theta so delta l by l is equal to much alpha delta theta so that we can write delta t by t is equal to 1 by 2 in place of delta l by l we write alpha delta theta so this is the change in time period by time period suppose if a time period is 1 second so we can say the loss or gain in a time per second loss or gain in a time per second so delta t by t is equal to how much we have 1 by 2 alpha delta t we can say when a temperature is changes by delta theta its time period is changes by delta t and delta t by t is equal to 1 by 2 alpha delta theta so that we can say loss or gain in time per second means in one second how much loss of time or how much gain in time will take place it is 1 by 2 alpha delta theta so loss or gain in time per second suppose if i want to calculate loss or gain in time per day in one day how much loss or gain in time will take place this is in one second into number of seconds in one day how many number of seconds are there in one day 86400 seconds are there so that loss or gain in time is 1 by 2 alpha delta t into 86400 but how should we know at the time loss or gain for example we'll say if temperature that is theta increases when temperature increases from that equation we can write the length of the pendulum increases length of the pendulum increases so that its time period also increases generally what is mean by time period the time period is nothing but the time taken to complete one oscillation 
or we can say the time taken to complete one rotation by the second hand. So now it is taking more time. So it is taking more time. How much more time? More than one second means the clock will move slow. When a clock moves slower, so there is a loss in time. So what will happen here? Clock loses the time because it moves slower than the actual one. It moves slower than the actual one. Now, if temperature decreases, length of the pendulum decreases, time period decreases, when time period decreases, it's nothing but there is a a gain in time so that the clock moves faster than the actual one clock moves faster than actual so generally this condition is occurred in summer and this condition is occurred in winter so from this two explanation we can say the clock will move faster in winter than the summer clock will move faster in winter than the summer because in winter the temperature is lower than the average value and in summer the temperature is uh, more than the average value so that the time period is more than actual one here the time period is less than the actual one so that the clock loses the time and it will move slower here clock gains the time and it will move faster. 